Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and welcome back to another top 5 video for Overwatch. Now before we get in the video, let me just kind of tell you something about little old Bro you Whack. So, I am far from perfect, alright? You don't need to roast me in the comments, we all know I'm far from perfect. I make editing errors, I make spelling errors, I make a lot of spelling errors, but last week I made the error where I didn't include the poll for next week's top 5 video, which is this week's which is right now, but I'm also recording this today. What I'm trying to say is I forgot last week's poll. And so about a thousand, roughly about a thousand people watched the video where they didn't get to vote. So I just quickly added the poll and I decided, okay, well, let me just look at the results and what can I decide from there? And here we are next week where the top five Bastion skins got 66% of the vote and top five soldier skins got about 33. But wait, a thousand people, even if, even if all thousand people decided to vote for Soldier 76, Bastion would still win. <laughs> I know that's not how sample size works, and that's not, that's not how it's supposed to go, but I just was hopeful for Soldier, and even without a thousand people voting, he still would have lost. <laughs> He's never gonna win. <laughs> top five Bastion skins, here we go. But we're quick, let's just kind of, just... Vote in the top right hand corner for the top 5 best Soldier 76 skins versus the top 5 best Zarya skins. I I don't know what to do anymore. I literally just picked that off the top. I didn't pre-think of what the poll was going to be. Just just vote for who you want to see. I swear, if Zarya wins, I'm not going to have a fun time next week. Y'all know how I feel about Zarya skins. But now let's look at the homie Bastion and his best skins. And I call him the homie Bastion because I have a soft side for Bastion. If you haven't seen that video where I talk about my first main and how I, yes, was once was a Bastion main, and then go click it, it's an awesome story. But that lasted for about my first 20 levels or so, so I definitely don't play a lot of Bastion now. So not only will the gameplay suck just because, well, I haven't played him in a long time, but also I try to get it in like a day's worth and every single, I'm not trying to make excuses, let's just get it right in the video. All right, so. Beginning our list at number 5 is a skin that could be seen as very bland, it could be seen as very boring, but there is one key thing that put this skin on this list, and at number 5 is going to be the 2017 Chinese New Year exclusive skin, Rooster. Now on the surface, yes, this is a pretty plain Bastion skin, it's just a Chinese New Year red base with a little bit of gold detailing with like trees and an emblem, and that's about it from all I can see from the skin, but the main thing that just makes me fall in love with the skin, especially back in 2017, was was the little rooster on his shoulder because you guys have to remember Bastion has this bird named Gaiman why couldn't they just name him Birdie or something? That's literally what I nicknamed my flying Pokemon. I love how they not only just changed Bastion to fit the theme that they're going for, but they also changed his tiny little bird friend. So that's why I decided to put it at number five. It's not the flashiest skin, but the rooster to celebrate you, the rooster, was a nice little touch and a good way to start this video. But you're going to see for the rest of the video that the skin is kind of influenced based on what the bird is wearing, because the main hero here isn't Bastion, all right? It's his little bird friend. <laughs> but continuing on our list at number four is a skin that I feel like is often overshadowed by the rest of his event legendary skins. I, I mean, go figure, right? This is a base legendary skin. But at number four, I decided to go with Gearbot. So Gearbot is supposed to take on like an antique machine, something that you would find in like an abandoned factory or whatnot. I don't really get that vibe. What I see is that Sea Diver from the SpongeBob movie, because if you ever watch that movie, you know, like this big giant guy decides to steal Spongebob and Patrick takes it to his antique store or whatnot and ultimately almost kills them and that was the saddest moment of my childhood, man. <laughs> but then they unlock the power of the Goofy Goober and friendship and decided to live and cause a ra Oh, this is an Overwatch skin video, I forgot. Yeah, this this is an alright skin. His bird, it's like a it's like a pigeon. I mean that, those are the kind of pigeons I see in Arizona. I don't know about like where is he from again? I don't know, but that looks like a pigeon to me, and yeah, it's a solid skin. It, it just really reminds me of that sea diver from the Spongebob movie. But now coming in at number three is definitely a skin that was heavily influenced by how the bird look, and at number three, it is going to be the 2017 winter exclusive skin, Avalanche. It's a snow owl. Come on, man, like, the snow owl, it's not a bird, it's not a pigeon, it's a snow owl because it's winter. 
Yeah, I know I'm a loser and I get hyped over stupid stuff like that. <laughs> so out of all of Bastion's skins, this skin, Avalanche, gives me the most creepiest vibes. Why, you might ask? Well, you have to remember, Bastion is supposed to be a machine or an Omnic, right? I don't want to kind of be racist towards Omnics. Uh, but this skin gives him the most human characteristics, which, again, I'm not... I don't know, man, I just don't want that in my Bastion skins, right? Because when you think of Bastion, you think of that one line just going down his face as his eye. This gives him two big bulging eyes, like two big machine anime eyes, a freaking beanie, and even like a tiny little mouth too, and I don't like that, dog. Like, I don't like it. So what saved this skin? What put this skin at number three? The Snow Owl. It reminds me of the owl from Harry Potter. Now, disclaimer, okay? I feel like there's two people in the world. There's the first person that really likes Harry Potter, and there's the second person that doesn't like Harry Potter, but also kind of likes Star Wars. And I'm neither of those, you suckers! I'm just kidding, I'm the second one. I, I never watched Harry Potter as a kid. Or read the books. You guys have to remember that last year when I was six years old, I had the choice between reading the Magic Treehouse, those tiny little skinny books, or those giant behemoth of books known as the Harry Potter series. I'm not good at reading. Why would I choose to read that? And then, of course, I never watched the movies because I was watching the SpongeBob movie. Yeah, my childhood might have been deprived a little bit, but overall, what, what am I trying to get out of here? Oh, yeah, the Snow Owl. Yeah, that Snow Owl, it's really cute, man. It reminds me of Honest Skin because, well, they're literally both the same thing, Snow Owl, but yeah, that's why it's at number three. <laughs> so here I want to throw in a quick honorable mention, because this skin, it's not the flashiest skin, but it's just the fact that it actually has a rarity factor, which is very rare for Overwatch items. If you haven't seen that video, I made a video talking about all of Overwatch rare items, but at number honorable mention, that was a bad transition. <laughs> It's gonna be the 2016 BlizzCon Bastion skin. So this skin was just kind of like a goodie bag Like if you ever go to a kid's birthday party, you know the parents always give you a, like a going away present like hey Get out of our house cuz now we gotta clean this is the same kind of thing It was just a skin just to celebrate overwatch and it was the same BlizzCon theme colors a dark blue with kind of a lighter blue as the details but also Bastion's bird is Pepe, the World of Warcraft bird? I don't know if it's from World of Warcraft, all right? But I know this was like a, a blizzard bird, right? I hope it's Pepe. It might be Peepee, you know, because when you think of Pepe, you think of Pepe the Frog. But it's just the fact that it's very rare that deserves to be somewhere on the list, but not dictated just because of its rarity factor. So I decided the honorable mention would be a perfect spot. But now we're getting in the top two of the best Bastion skins of all time. And I went back and forth with both of these skins. I'm sure you guys know what skins are coming up, but I decided at the number two spot, is gonna be the 2018 anniversary exclusive skin stealth and stealth I don't get why it's here. I don't know. I don't understand it, but I like it. I, I really do like it. Bastion's a very unique character when designing skins. I'm sure that's why they don't bring a lot of Bastion skins because they have to think about, okay, well, what's a machine that we can kind of redesign Bastion around that can also transform into something? You know what I'm trying to say? And with stealth, I just kind of picture this more futuristic kind of tank, right? Because you know when Bastion uses his ultimate, he literally goes into the form of a tank. His tank cannon or whatnot just comes out of nowhere, but hey, either way, he's going to be a tank. And here, this is the closest thing out of all the skins that kind of represent that in all models of Bastion. But once again, they redesigned his bird to fit the theme, and I don't know why they didn't try to keep that bird head or whatnot, but they just decided just to make a mini Bastion. <laughs> That's literally what he looks like. He looks like a mini Bastion, not a bird anymore. Just a stealth bomber bird. And that's, I don't know, man. That's that's a cooler name. They should have named this bomber bird skin. No, they shouldn't have. That's stupid. But claiming the number one spot is a skin that I cannot make any stupid names up for because, well, it's right there right in front of you. It is going to be the 2017 anniversary exclusive skin, Dune Buggy. And when I first saw the skin, I thought and almost went back to the dark side of becoming a Bastion main. This is supposed to take on the form of a Dune Buggy, which if you ever rode a Dune Buggy on like Sand Hills, it's one of the best things that you can do. It's very popular here in the Southwest because, well, we you got sand hills everywhere. Just walk outside your back door and you have a big old sand. I'm kidding, y'all. Just because I live in Arizona doesn't mean I live in the freaking actual desert, okay? There's a city and whatnot. But yes, we do hug cactuses every single day, so keep that in your mind. But out of all of Bastion's skins, this is probably Bastion's most flashiest skin. I mean, it's no surprise because, again, it's taking on the form of an actual machine, which is probably very hard to do for Bastion. They can't just make him a gingerbread man because gingerbreads aren't machines, okay? That's illegal. But here, the skin is fairly decent. It's something that you might actually want to spend 3000 
closing credits on, which I thought about doing. But I love the orange pipelines. It really complements just the white base that he has. His eye is not two eyes, thank God. It's a headlight. But what I really like is the checkered flag in the back, but also his bird is a checkered flag. Flag. I don't I don't think this is a real bird. I might sound so stupid by thinking that this could be a real bird But I like the fact that it takes on this more racing theme and they change his bird to have the checkered flag that they always rave uh, To just represent the final lap So that's why I really like this skin because it looks flashy It's really cool design for Bastion and takes the form of a doom buggy and his bird is a checkered flag That's just so cute man Bastion's just a cute guy. But anyway guys, that is my top five list for the best Bastion skins, but please comment down below what you feel like are the best Bastion skins. Bastion, he's not a very popular hero, but you know, besides cheese comps, I feel like we can all at least appreciate Bastion a little bit. At least his bird, maybe not the robot itself, but man, that bird is just so cute, man. I love the bird. <laughs> I'm gonna go guys. I love you guys more though, and I'll see you guys later. Vote for next week's top five video between Zarya and Soldier, and we'll see you guys then. I love you guys, and bye.